Hey, we got the other side. Hello everyone and welcome in this uh, video. I'm going to be doing a cool little thing where I get the bar and the bar with bipod. Uh, I've used the power of plutonium uh, to see if uh, the bar plus bipod and the bar combine to give you double the ammo and they do. So even if it doesn't actually work, I'm going to give it a hell of a try anyway. Uh, Vuokt is one of the hardest maps but also one of my favourite because of the vibe, so playing this map more, honestly, is not that bad. Damn. You ruined my groove. Um, but, uh, it has really enlightened me, uh, with plutonium. Uh, the things that you can do, um, and it actually has me have an idea for a new series that I can do. Uh, which is literally gun game. Uh, and the way that it would work, uh, is I would, basically at the start of the match, I would set, uh, ammo to max, um, and then what I would secondarily do, um, is then, uh, give player, or give gun, name, and then I'd give myself the name, uh, the weapon, and then I'll just be going on. Uh, which does sound really cheaty, I know, but in a gun game thing, that's kind of how the game works. Uh, but one thing I'm really happy about is I'm actually thinking of doing an, a small extra little video uh, where I talk about uh, every single gun in Zombies. Um, so a tool that allows me to give myself a weapon um, so that I can use it is a very good thing. Um... So that's gonna make videos way better. Also, god damn the persistence of zombies on this map. They are way more like tearing down everything. I think the aggression on this map honestly is just set higher than on other maps. Cause it sure as hell feels like it. Um, but yeah, so the aim of this vi uh, video is for us to get the bar and the deployable bar. Um, and I might even do uh, some other videos as well, showing off uh, in no clip mode. Um, there we go. That's uh, something you can actually activate, funnily enough. But um, yeah, in no clip, showing off the maps. Uh, I think that could be really cool uh, and really fun uh, as just a little thing to do. Right, we bought this area, so of course there's going to be zombies up here. It's probably foolish of me not to consider that fact. Um, we actually now have the ability to buy the MP40. Oh, uh, but one thing that's really fucking jarring to see is when you do use the mod and give yourself a third weapon, the gun is just on the floor. And then you're actually able to, like, have guns on the floor for the rest of the game. Uh, so... It's really fucking funny. Uh, and I would honestly... Uh, like, I'd honestly give it a go. Like, go buy, uh, World at War. Because all the DLC is free and shit. Look how fucking far away they spawn. No wonder it takes so long. Like, they probably spawn out there. They, f they probably spawn in first, those, like, you know, we all know the zombies in Pokemon. Like, they probably spawn in first, but they have to just travel so fucking far that it, like, takes ten years. Yes. Um. Right, that's the trap. Uh, so the best training area, by the way, is that down area over there. Um. And if you open, and if you're on that side of the map, it gets way worse because of uh, obviously you opened up the map. It always feels like on Verrock you have to camp just because of how fucking tight the corridors are. Verrock really does kind of feel like a challenge map before challenge maps existed. Because almost every single challenge map kind of follows the formula of like really fucking tight corridors uh, and all that shit. 
Wait, no, that actually is anymore. In my head, I was like, oh, you're the looping area, uh, which I just talked about, and I was like, wait a minute, no. That makes no sense. Yeah, I've just killed both of those. But yeah, I'm um, actually. I think maybe even after this attempt, if it doesn't uh, goes well or not, I will actually just go and no clip out. And because I've wanted to do that for years, uh, see what these maps look like. Uh, now I finally have the ability to. Uh, it would be really funny if I get the bar, and it just gives me the deployable one. Okay. I feel like the game is like... I don't know. It, it's eerily scary when... How many wall bits does this have? Jesus, this has a lot of wall. That's like, like on zero points. I got fucking like... A million points from that. Oh, we're definitely gonna rebuild this one. Now we unironically just need to get um I love how janky this map is. We just need to get enough points now unironically to just get the bar. And honestly, if we lose on this attempt, I'm gonna be so mad if like literally attempt number one after proving that the one piece was real, uh, I don't get it. Like, I'd actually be so fucking mad because I've tried to do this challenge n so many fucking times, it's not funny. I guess we'll just take this now. Uh, just so we can simply see how far... There's none in this one. Okay, so we have to get 750. So we need 3250 points in order to do this. Okay. Now, you would think there were two automatic weapons that shouldn't be that hard. But you'll see. It's a rock. But 3250. A one round slash two is all that it will take to do this challenge. And that makes this really cool, in my opinion. Also, if we're just able to do this, this is actually fucking rad. Uh, and as well, if we're able to do this, uh, you'll be seeing this on Saturday instead of Sunday. Also, the fact that you can see the zombies coming in from there is really funny. Okay, we're gonna have to reload. This is actually really bad. That's really annoying. Like, actually upsetting. Uh... Yeah. So, familiar room for us. As long as we don't buy this door, this looping area becomes way better. Because it means that if we keep this door closed, they only can come in from here. And our prize is right here. The bar plus bipod. The moment we get that, we basically finish the challenge. Well, at least of this video. It's so crazy to me. That, uh, like, quite literally, uh, I tried to do this challenge so many times, and that's why I did the shotgun one, is because I was like, fuck it, it's probably not even possible. It probably, the box probably just has the normal bar in it. But literally, so the way, uh, so the plutonium mod, the way that it works is it only gives you guns that are loaded onto the map. Obviously, like, shit like the Moz and Nagat and shit aren't loaded on this map because you can't use them. Also, the fact that they're going to open that barrier and literally go around the entire map is so funny. No, you saying bolts. No. 
I forbid it. I want it to be decreed that I forbid the Usain Bolt on this map. You know it's Usain Bolters uh, when the way that they sprint is not like that, but like they get down low and like they're like sprinting at you. That's when you know. It's like if they're like if it's like a normal zombies behavior, then it's normal zombies behavior. Um, you can almost always tell when it's not normal zombies behavior. We're close. Person screaming in the background. Yeah, thank God. We did it! Look at that! 280 points! Tell me that isn't cursed to see on the bar. Man, I'm actually. It's so crazy. It's, I'm actually so happy right now. Unironically. I've done it. I've done another gun that I actually <sighs> I'm so proud of myself and I'm gonna die like this round I just know. um I don't even know if there's a benefit of using the deployable bar I'm just gonna use it anyway just because it has more uh it has cooler shit to it but like, yeah, just the fact that I'm able to be like, hmm, I wonder how high the bar will be this time. Will we be able to reach that uh, level? Oh my god, did you see all the those are some Naruto zombies over there, Jesus. With this much ammo, this a uh, weapon actually becomes decent. Like, this is basically... Uh, oh my god, you can see them running in the background. Like, this weapon literally kind of just becomes... Uh, what is... Oh my god, yeah, no, this round is... Yeah. This round is far from done. But as you can tell, it's actually so good. We're waiting until it's definitely the last zombie. And then we're just gonna go and grab Jug. I think I might be the last one, and if it's not, it's fine, because we have enough room-ish. Yeah. Nice ammo. That's useful. But I actually just can't believe the first spin, we actually got the exact perk I wanted. That is, like, so... Like, what is the chance? Obviously, the chances are around 1 in a 30 chance, because that's how many guns are on this map. But, um... Like, damn... That's insane. Uh, and just because I think it's funny, we're going to open up this as well. This is also something very interesting. Uh, is if you already own a weapon. Oh, I didn't even know that there was a selection you can't do button. Actually, we don't want to kill him here. We want to kill him back in our looping area. Um, so then we can get his... Actually, uh, I'm ready to die on this hill. Oh, wait, no, it would cost, um, less money. Yeah, okay. Did you see how fucking fast he appeared? That's what we call a Usain Bolt zombie. When they're able to trek through the entire map in literal seconds. And it's why this map does not even... Did you see how fucking fast these guys are? Jesus, criminal. This is insimony. I guess what we can actually do, uh, funnily enough, is... 
attempt to make our way back. No. Okay. Well, we still did it though. We got the bar and the deployable bar. That is insane. I'm actually so happy. Uh, yeah, this... Uh, this will come out as an extra video, I guess. Uh, this is just more zombies content. Well, with that, I hope you all have a lovely day. And now, uh, as tomorrow's video is the M1 Garand and the uh, M1 Garand with launcher, I can now say with certainty there are four weapons in, well, technically seven. Uh, well, no, actually, technically, there's nine weapons because all three shotguns and then six other weapons. But, um,. I can now say for a fact that there are so many weapons that use this uh, function. Uh, so yeah, the bar, an LMG, you can double its ammo. The shotguns, you can have all of their ammo, reserve ammo be 120. And the Karnani AK and scoped Karnani AK, you can have, have 100 rounds and those are a rifle. So rifle, shotgun, LMG, and the M1 Garand, which is also a rifle, but it has a different uh, ammo thing. That is insane. Well, I hope you all have a lovely day, and I hope you all enjoy this video. I am now going to record the Doris video. Goodbye.